What's up guys? It's your boy K K Flex. And welcome back to another one of my videos. Or if you're new, welcome. Glad you're here. My name is KK Rex. Nice to meet you. So in my last video, which I will put like right there in the card, um, I asked you guys if you guys wanted me to do tutorials on how to use Logic, how to use GarageBand, how to like make different types of genres. And you guys were going crazy, you guys love that idea. So here I am with a tutorial video. So this will be a video on how to use GarageBand for beginners and tips and tricks to make your work a little bit easier. And this will just give you like the ins and outs. So like if you just are getting into music or just starting producing or even just switch DAWs and um, went to GarageBand, this should just be able to get you started and be able to navigate through it easily. So before we get into the video, if you guys like my shirt, which I hope you guys do, just a little sign with three crosses, um, and many, many more, you guys can go to tabernacleclothing.com, which will be in the description, or you can just use uh, my code KKREX to get 15% off whatever shirt you guys want. But they're really cool shirts, just like this one, and this one, and like this one, and this one, and this one, and this one, and this one. <laughs> now I'm playing. But yeah, they're really cool shirts. So just remember, you guys can get them really cheap, 15% off, just use the code KKREX, and you can have a shirt just like this. Oh, and also, um, it's a Christian brand, so obviously I rock with it heavy. And like, for example, if you're like a church group or like, um, Let's say you're going on a retreat and you need shirts with like your logo on it. He also does that. So check him out, link in the description and get yourself some cool stuff. So without further ado, please follow me on Instagram at KKRex and my SoundCloud is KKRex Beats. And I just hope you enjoyed today's video. So let's get it. All right guys, so when opening up GarageBand, it will usually open up the last project that you had open. So like the last song I made was called I'm Back. <laughs> and I actually have a video on this, so I'll put the card in the corner so you guys can watch this video too. But this is what it sounds like. Yeah, this is a lot of fun to make but if you're starting off fresh or you want to start off fresh you can just press file new or just exit out of this but for now we'll just do file new and then this is the screen that comes up the screen that says choose a project so it gives you a few options you could either start with an empty project which is what i normally do or if you know that you want to make electronic music or hip-hop music or you're actually just starting to write a song you could click any of these templates and what's inside of each of these templates is for example if you want to do hip-hop just click hip hop and choose and then it should bring up a drummer and it should bring up different sounds that you could actually use to make your i guess hip hop song come to life and these are all instruments that should help you make your hip hop song but for now let's just do a new project so if we do file new and do an empty project that's what we're going to choose today all right guys so when you open the project in the garage man you have a couple of options your first option is to select a software instrument, which will open you up into a, a library and like a blank slate where you could find things from drums to pianos to guitars to basses to synths to choirs to organs type stuff. So yeah, this is just all stock sounds from GarageBand. This one is a mic, so you could usually plug it through an audio interface or if you have a USB mic, that's how you record it. Same thing with guitars and basses. And then this drummer is basically just, I guess, a, just a loop of a drummer doing certain types of beat and you could pick how fast you want it, how slow you want it, what kind of vibe, what kind of actual drum parts you want it. Like, for example, if you want it to be only a kick and a snare, et cetera, et cetera, this is just a drummer that will play just the beat for you. But for this video, let's just start off from scratch. Okay, so when you open a new project from GarageBand, this is what comes up. A lot of you guys were asking me, how do I connect my Akai MPK Mini to GarageBand? And literally, um, it comes with this cable, right? So all I had to do was I set it down and I plugged this part into my USB port and then it automatically connected and you should see that lights come up. But for the sake of this video, if you guys do not have a, uh, I guess, MIDI of any sort, you guys can go to the top up here and then you'll see something that says window and then you click show musical typing. So now this will bring up a keyboard on your screen and it will assign different uh, keyboard keys to the piano. So for example, A would be C, S would be D, D would be E, and so on and so on and so on. If you want to change the octave, you could press Z to go down, so, or X to raise the octave. And also you could hold tab to sustain. So like for example, if you're holding a chord, and I hold tab, it sustains the chord. Also, as you guys can see at the top, there are pitch bends and modulation and everything. So you guys should just mess around with that and have fun. Like for example, if I just hold out this right here and press two, 
It just literally just it's a pitch ban. So that is one easy way that you guys can actually still use GarageBand even if you guys don't have a MIDI controller or you're saving up for one right now. You can still use GarageBand and still have fun. So two of the biggest questions I've been getting on my Instagram comments and in my DMs, and I'm trying to respond to as many of you guys as I can, is how do you loop and how do you quantize? So let's just go through those steps right now and hopefully it clears it up for you guys. So to begin with, let's just record a simple low chord progression. So before I record, let me show you guys one small thing. So at the top right here, you're gonna see something that says tempo. So right now it's at 120, which sounds like this. But you could also increase it, which increases the speed of the song, or you could decrease it, which definitely will slow down the speed of the song. If you don't feel like scrolling through up and down, you can just double click and you could type in, let's say I want it at 105 for now. And then press enter, and there, your tempo is set. All right, guys, so I want to have kind of like a flute sound for my chords, kind of like old vintage sounding. So I would go over here, which is called the sound library. But if you do not see this, you click the little folder that looks, it says it up here, library. And then, for example, it's gone, click it, it's back. Also, if you guys press this question mark button, it will show you basically where everything is and what everything does. So like, for example, if I scroll down here, it will light up and it'll show me what this does and even the shortcut for it, right? So let me go through this library and find like a flute sound, right? If I click here, I'm just doing that to show you guys. It goes away. Library, right? And then maybe let's look, hmm, I kind of want a flute sound. So maybe vintage flute. But, all right, so, that, so at the top, you could either press this little red button to record or you could press R on the keyboard to record. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to loop these four bars. So you guys are asking me how to loop. You could either click at the top here in this little gray area and it turns yellow and then you'll be able to extend or shorten by just dragging out when you reach the end of it. Or when you see the hand signal, you could move the whole loop. Or you could press this yellow button up here and it turns it on and off and on. So I'm gonna keep it on and then I'm just gonna play some chords on my Akai Kit Mini and let's just go from there. So. Let's just record some chords real quick. Okay, so as you guys can see by that recording, there's some pieces where it's offbeat, and there's also places where I would want to extend it completely. So this is when quantizing comes in. So this is where basically quantize puts all of your notes that you just played on beat. So that's basically what it does. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna press Command A and that selects all of the notes. And then you're gonna see time quantize. So I usually do it to 1 16th just to make it easier for myself, but you guys could play around with this. For example, if you're gonna do, um, let's say drums and hi-hats and you know that you're gonna need a smaller regions, like if you're gonna do rolls with the hi-hats, you would do um, a higher one. But just for these chords right now, I'm just gonna do 1 16th and then you'll see it move or you could press the Q and it'll also move. So now everything should be on beat. And then if I select all of it, I could drag these notes out to, rec to extend them just a little bit longer, right? So it's more full and it's consecutive. Because right now, um, I didn't plug in the sustain pedal, but it should still be fine. And now it'll sound like this. So you could get this window by double clicking right here in the track or in the top left corner, if you guys press the scissors, it comes up, right? So in this window, you could extend them as I did before to make the notes longer. You could quantize, which I also did. You could select these things and you could change the notes or even the octave by dragging them through. So now it's definitely lower which obviously I don't want, so I go back. And also in this uh, window, for example, if this note was too soft, I'll just select it and I can raise the velocity, which makes it louder, or I can shorten the velocity, which makes it a little bit softer. So yeah, those are just some of the things that you could do in this window that would just help you guys. So just to make it a little easier, if you guys think something's a little bit offbeat or you wanna change keys, like for example, if the vocalist is, is kinda out there range, you wanna change keys, et cetera, et cetera, you would click the scissors or double click this track and 
this little editor window will come up. Now, in order to stop and play back your music, right now I'm pressing spacebar to start it and also spacebar to stop. But you could also press play up here and stop. But also spacebar is quicker and easier to use. It's just a little advice that I'm giving you guys just to make your workflow a little quicker. So now that we're done the chords, you guys are probably wondering, how do we add another track? Let's keep moving. Come on, finish the song, Kick Your X. Like, what you doing? So there's multiple ways to add another track right there. You guys could press the plus right there. And you could add another software instrument or add vocals, actual instruments, or the drummer. Or you could just double click in this area and I'll make another software instrument. Or if you want to have the exact same flute with the same settings and plugins that are on it, you could just right click and then click new track with duplicate settings. So then it'll bring up the flute again and it'll be the exact same thing. But right now I'm just gonna use a new track. Okay, so for example, if we wanted to make the bass bassier, or if we want to take off the high end, or if we just want to put some effects on it, we would go to the button right next to the scissors in the top left corner, and we click on it. And then here is how we would make, for example, the kicks louder, the snares louder, whatever, or softer. And then these are the effects that we could put on it. But if we just click this EQ button right here, this is what it's looking like right now. So for example, let's say I want to make this a little bit more, I guess, booming. <laughs> if I put this up, you hear the difference? But the same thing happens uh, with chords, right? If I want to take off the highs completely, you guys know what I'm saying? So this is very useful, especially if you're trying to put in vocals. Or if you're trying to not have too many things compete, like let's say the kick is messing uh, with these chords, Take out the top, the low end a little bit, and now the kick still stands out from your track. So that's just a little tip that I think you guys uh, will find useful. Okay guys, so I just added some more elements of the song just to keep it going. But now, since we have basically our beat stable, which is sounds like this. So that's stable. So at this point, we won't need our metronome anymore to keep us on beat. So this button up here is the metronome, which keeps us on beat. And this is, for example, if you guys want like a count in, like when I pressed record which is this button again oh sorry this button or the r if i take this off then it won't count me in but i always like the little one two three and then you know we come in with it so that's why that is still selected for me but moving on to the right so we can um keep going so i can show you guys basically pretty much every part of garage man just to make it easier for you guys to work so if we come to the right we have these three buttons right here this first button I don't, I don't know people who use it. Personally, I don't use it, but I feel like it could be very um, helpful. You guys could, like for example, if you have like kind of an idea for a song or if you wanna put like notes to, I guess another producer if you're working on it or even to a vocalist, you could just type them up here. So let me uh, give you guys a little good note. <laughs> uh, so, you know, there's, you just put notes in there, um, just stuff like that. The button next to it is where you'll find all the loops. So they have, instruments they have vocals they have sound effects just all in this little window right here so as you guys can see for example right you scroll down scroll down scroll down everything like everything you want you could search for it like for example let's say um i want some conga drums for uh this song i could just i could click this button right here to listen to it Right? So I'm like, oh snap, that might 
that might actually work. So I would be like, wow, this works, but there might also be something better. So in the meantime, I could just press heart here, which will save it in the, so I could click heart earlier to find it again. And I could go through heart all the ones that I think will work. And then when I'm ready to use it, all you have to do is drag it in. Yeah. This beat was longer, hey. Am I wrong for that? I know this is tutorial, but I kinda like that, hey. Freestyling in a video, what's different? I hope y'all like the flow, yeah. Cause I'm just doing my thing. It's kicking X and we're about to big things. Making moves all summer 2019, yeah. Cause you know this beat kinda clean, yeah. I made it in a minute, I made it in a minute, and you know that I feel it, hey, 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 yeah. All right, onto our regular schedule programming. <laughs> I hope you guys enjoyed that little interlude. Um, so as you guys can see, the one that I put in was blue, right? Now it's an audio track, but also I could put in a green one, right? And if you put in a green one, it's actually like, for example, like you recorded it, so you'll actually be able to go in and edit the notes yourself. Like for example, you see, so I'm editing that myself. So that could also be a little, um, I guess a tip for you guys that if you guys like something that they have and you're just like, hmm, if they would have just made that like an F sharp or if they put another rhythm right there, that would just make it go crazy. So you guys could put in a green one. And there's also yellow ones. Yellow ones should be drummer. Yep, there we go. Drummer. So basically, um, let me just solo. Okay, real quick though, let me show you guys how to solo before I just move on. So how to solo is you just press these little uh, headphones and it will only play like that certain track. So like, for example, for this one, Honestly, no, do the congos, they were kind of hard. Hey, hey, hey. <laughs> so that's soloing just the congas. But for example, if I like the song and I want to, for example, mute the congas and let's even mute the flutes, right? You press this little button right here, which mutes it. So it'll play the, the whole song without those certain selected uh, tracks. So it'll sound like this. Hey. Ha, ha. So yeah, this is just a little beat. So yeah, so these buttons over here is how you mute and solo. Um, you could also select a track and press M, which also mutes and unmutes, or S for solo and unsolo, just to let you guys know. Oh yeah, so how drummer works is, for example, we just dragged one on. So right now, let me solo it, right? We press S or that little button. So now it sounds like this. So right now I've selected congos, but for example, if I want all of this, I'll just select them. Hey, 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 hey. And you can also move this around to have different kind of flares and vibes and just stuff like that. So that's what drummer does just to, ooh, hey, just to let you guys know uh, what it does. So the blue one are audio tracks. The green one are actually like MIDI, like recorded um, tracks, I guess. And then the, the yellow ones are drummer. So if you're going over here, and you're looking through, that's what you could get. And even if you're not sure exactly what you want to drag into your music, you could go to genres to, and just select the genre that you're like trying to create. Or if you just want, let's say, you want like a dry sounding guitar, or let's say you want something kind of dark or intense, you could just select these and then they'll also give you loops and samples that you could use, copyright free. Okay, and our next button on the right, uh, like right over here, next to our loops and everything, our media so we could go through and we could find like for example if we downloaded um let's say we downloaded like a song on our computer and we really like it we could even remix it and do whatever so we would get that song it'd probably be let's say if it's in our music we'll click our music i really don't have that like many things <laughs> on my computer right now but you would get whatever you want and then what is this um bacon grease kick okay buddy let's see and then you could drag it in um, obviously, you guys would probably have like a song or something, but I don't even know what in the world. But let's just see. Ooh, somebody better stop me. Hey. <laughs> so yeah, you could do stuff like that. Um, just click this thing on the right side right here, drag it in, and then you could bring whatever you have on your computer into GarageBand. Also, another quick tip is for those of you guys who are wondering how to loop and how to extend certain parts, you could either select this track, right, and you could copy it by either right-clicking 
And then when you move your cursor over here, right click again and press paste, which will bring there. Or you could do a shortcut on the keyboard, which would be command C and then command V. Or if you just want to actually just loop it, you go to the very side and then you'll see something that kind of looks like a circle. And then you just drag that out and it loops as much or as little as you want. So if you want to do half, you could do half, you could do the full thing, you just get, keep going forever. So yeah, so that's how you loop it. You'd also just drag these things around wherever you want, like to rearrange it, or you could just duplicate it with the command C and then command V. So just keep it moving. But that's just a little quick tip on how to loop it. So you aren't always just dragging and copying and pasting, copying and pasting. You could just go up here and move that thing. So one more thing before I start wrapping up this video, because I feel like I've gone through all the basics that you guys need to start making your own music, especially for beginners. Just some tips and tricks to help you guys get started. Um, one last thing is um, I kind of come from a musical background and I know some of you guys do too. That's why you guys want to make music. And even for the people who don't um, come from a musical background, just something that will be kind of helpful is like, for example, for these uh, chords right here, like if I made um, a lead, so let me just do a lead real quick so it'll make more sense, which is like a, a melody line. All right, so just, just something quick, you feel me? So if I record like that melody line, if you actually want to give this to somebody to like play or you want to like score your own music, you basically just pick score and then it'll put it on a staff for you. So this is treble clef, but you could also do bass clef or for example, if you're doing like two hands on your piano, you could do treble and bass clef and it'll show you. So like, for example, it'll be like, oh snap, I just made the best song ever. If I really, I just want to hear it live. So you just go for score. And then you would just print out um, these sheets, give it to the people who play the certain type of instrument that you're looking for, and bam, you have a live song already. So yeah, guys, I always thought this score feature was just really cool. Um, I don't know, just so much potential that you could actually make your songs come to life and see it performed live. So I just really love that part. And I feel like I've pretty much gone through everything that you need to just have a great start to making music. All right, guys, so that was me just giving you guys a tutorial on how to use GarageBand. Um, for beginners, this was more of a more of a basic um, tutorial, but it was I was trying to make it as clear as possible so that you guys wouldn't be held back and your creativity wouldn't be like slowed down because you're like, man, how do I add a track? How do I quantize? How do I loop this? Like, what's happening? So I was just trying my hardest to just help you guys out make it clear so you guys can make your own music and just get famous and just do your thing. So I really, really hope that this like helped you out and you guys were able to, I guess, grow and, and become better producers through this. Um, if I helped you out at all or I showed you guys something uh, that you didn't know or made it easier, just please comment down below let me know so I know that I didn't, uh, I didn't just make this for no reason, that you guys are actually like benefiting because I do want to see you guys be successful too. Um, so just please subscribe, like this video, comment if I helped you guys out whatsoever. Um, please follow me at KK Rex on my Instagram and SoundCloud, KK Rex Beats. And just look through my other videos on my channel where I have um, multiple videos where I make like beats on GarageBand and multiple videos where I make beats on Logic Pro X. If you guys want me to do an updated uh, tutorial on like GarageBand for like advanced, like intermediate to advanced level people, uh, just let me know, comment down below. I'll be happy to do that for you guys. But until we see you guys again, just thank you guys so much for all the love and support. Like, I, it's just crazy how much you guys still rock with me, even through these little uh, breaks in me at school and me just working and grinding for you guys. But I may have a big announcement. I did get a mic. So if I could put that in for you guys. I did get a mic. So we're actually going to be making some bangers now because, like, there's nothing holding me back. So I really appreciate the love and support. If you guys like these shirts or these shirts or these shirts, go down in the description below. It's Top Gun Rocket Clothing. And then you can use the code. KK Rex for 15% off. So, I hope you guys have a great day. I hope I was even able to help you a little bit. Um, please subscribe, share this with your friends, or share this with somebody that you know that's trying to learn how to produce music. Again, this was GarageBand, and I was using the Akai MPK Mini with it. Um, I also did a tutorial on how to use the Akai MPK Mini, like all the buttons on it and everything that it does. I'll put the card up there. Um, people seem to like that video a lot, and that's what was also pushing me to make this tutorial. So, enough of me jabbering. First off, I hope you like this beat. Like, can we just hear a little, you know what, for you guys, one last freestyle, because this is just too much fun. So, I hope you guys enjoy this. Quick little freestyle, and then I'll be out of here. So, let's just do this. Take it, Rex, on the mic and the beat. 
that's how you know it's gonna be heat. He said, yeah, he's better. I said, eh, maybe forever. I hope this video could help you out. Cause I was just like, yeah, I'm about. Cause if I started and I saw this video, I'll be like, yeah, I finally know. I finally know how to produce. I was just like, what is the use? Frustration came out of my head. And then I said, psych, I'm going to bed. Cause this is kinda hard if you don't know. So I try to help you out, work with the flow. Work with the flow so you can just grind. So you can just grind and you can stay alive. So comment below. Huh? If you rockin' with the flow, yeah. So I hope you like this beat. I hope you like this beat. I hope you end it. Whoa, whoa, huh? I hope you like this beat. Huh? Cause I think that's a real heat. It's like five tracks, but I'm still bumping, bumping, bumping. Yeah, 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 yeah. Alright guys, so I hope you enjoyed that freestyle, that was just me uh, messing around and just having fun with it, like you guys should be. So music should be more fun than frustration, so that was also motivation for me to, ooh, did you hear that? Fun, not frustration, that's why it was a motivation, come on, Some, somebody better sign me, I'm not playing, but um, my bad. So what I was saying was, music should be more fun than a frustration, so that was like <laughs> a reason why I wanted to put this video together, just to make your, your just work feel better, so you don't like say, oh my goodness, I have an idea for a hit song. And then you get stuck on like quantizing or something like that. You feel me? So I just hope you enjoyed it. Uh, let me know what you think down below. Stay tuned for my next video because it's probably going to be a, a cook up. I'm just going to go crazy um, in GarageBand or Logic Pro X with the Akai or the Roly or my real bass or my saxophone. I'm just going to go crazy in this next video just because I have that mic. So we're going to go crazy. It might be like a little Juice World type beat. Get hit my vocals, little YK Osiris, little, little Tekka type vibe. Who knows? It's going to be crazy. So. Please subscribe, turn on your post notifications so you know that when that video comes out. And I'm just glad you guys watched this. So see you guys very, very soon with another video. Love you guys. Take your out. God bless. K, K, Black.